a forgotten coffee species rediscovered in Sierra Leone and brews promise for the industry's future. Now to some news that might perk you up. We all need a bit of that. A forgotten coffee species has been rediscovered in Sierra Leone. Researchers say the small plants could be the key to future-proofing the industry against the effects of climate change. Courtney Benbridge reports. 2020 was the hottest year on record and brought unprecedented levels of extreme weather, including fires, flooding and drought, making warnings like this from the UN increasingly urgent. This is truly a pivotal year for humanity's future. And this report shows we have no time to waste. Climate disruption is here. Rising temperatures are already affecting food security with more and more land becoming unproductive. Coffee is one crop under threat, affecting the livelihoods of more than 100 million farmers. But in these dense tropical forests of Sierra Leone, scientists say they've rediscovered a coffee species not seen in the wild for decades. We think we have a really important uh, discovery because we've found a coffee that grows at higher temperatures but also has those qualities that the consumer requires from coffee, i.e. a fantastic taste. If we're interested in generating the, the coffees of the future, this is a really important little plant. There are more than 100 known coffee species, but most of us get our caffeine hit from Arabica beans. But the crops are less resilient to higher temperatures and it's estimated that Arabica production could halve by the middle of this century. And so the search for a replacement began. What we want is a tree that's sort of relatively compact, that is drought resistant, that is climate tolerant and can give us a good yield with good flavour attributes. And that's almost the holy grail that we've been looking for. The rediscovered species promises notes of rose, elderflower and lychee and a taste to rival Arabica. But it could take several years to make its way to our cafes. Researchers say more work needs to be done before it's grown on a large scale. Courtney Bembridge, BBC News.